it's translating into um, a huge portion of the population which doesn't that does not trust the government and doesn't trust the banks. Getting them out of order. Out of order. There's a border. There's a border. Don't mess it. Am I messing up your order? Uh, Does that sound pretty? Sure does. Fourteen. Tim, is there something you'd like to tell the community that is important? Uh, occasionally, I get disturbing calls. And uh, people are saying that uh, some guy who claims to be me is calling around and offering specials on gold today only. Uh, I don't solicit anyone. Um, you know, I talk to different people every day. Um, I I don't know where it's coming from, but you know, if it has a you know maybe a Nigerian accent or something, oh. you, you <laughs> probably should just conclude that it's not me it's not tim yeah it is not i, I yeah think that's and, and, and i get that too a lot guys you know if you see uh, a, a so-called yankee stacking in the comments trying to solicit something it's not me i don't use whatsapp or telegram i don't sell or buy crypto i don't solicit anyone so don't fall for that did you get your 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 uh, maples in I, uh, we actually got five boxes yesterday um i got um Two monster boxes of buffaloes and two uh, maple leaves. Um, I'm waiting for a third monster box of maple leaf. I got uh, 2023s, which we had to pay a little more for. And um, some back dates, I think these were 2014. Mm -hmm. um, about half of them are gone, okay? And um, I hope the, the third one comes in this week because... I can't satisfy the orders that I have without another the, box. The demand is high, isn't it? The demand is high for everything. But, you know, I'm hearing more and more about people who are clearing their uh, money out of the banks. And, um, I mean, that concerns me because that means that people don't trust the banks in addition to not trusting the government. But we're, you know, the public. We don't count. We're not important. Uh, we're not important to our government anymore. We're not important to, um, we don't need to know. Whatever is going on in, in Washington, we don't need to know. And, uh, you know, I can, it's, it's translating, it's not me, but it's translating into um, a huge portion of the population which doesn't, that does not trust the government and doesn't trust the banks. And, you know, I mean, the banks are their own worst enemies. They can't spring new banking regulations on you every day. You go, you, every time you go to the bank, you're finding a new banking regulation or a federal regulation. I mean, that's that's not the way you run a bank. Don't spring things on people, especially when it's negative. Well, we got a customer here. That's uh, is this your first time? No, not, not your first time in here, right? Not my first time in here, but my first time purchasing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, awesome. So, what are you thinking of getting? You get the kilos in yesterday, the silver? I do have kilos. I didn't get them in yesterday, but I do have kilos. Okay, because you, yeah, you mentioned that they were, you were getting a shipment in. So, so after the kilos. Yeah, get maybe a few. Nice. Yeah. How about any gold? Um, I have some. I'm, I'm good right now, but if I have some money left over, I might get, a, get an ounce. What brought you into Tim's? You. Oh. Yep. Another uh, Yankee customer. Uh, have you yeah. seen a few of them? No, we hardly ever see Yankee customers. Oh, okay. No <laughs> calls or any. No. People only come here because you know, I st I stand out there with sign a signboard. I say gold, silver this way. Liberty <laughs> Tax Services. One of, like Liberty <laughs> Tax Services. One of those. Uh, one of those uh, spinning ones. I would love to see Tim out there yeah. spinning the sign, trying yeah. to get yeah. people in here. No, it's not that elaborate. I, plus, I can't go outside because the phone rings too much. And you know, I've told you many times that the people I meet uh, from your community are the best people in America, and um, they are awake. I just wish they could convince all their friends to wake up because th things are not looking good. Well, one of the things you can do is to share this video with your friends, your family, people that don't know anything about precious metals, about sound money, about what's going on in our economy. And, and, and politically, too, you know Tim loves to give his political slant at, every, at any moment. So please share this video and uh, help them 
hear the wisdom that comes from Tim Marshner. All right, hey, can you show some of the silver that you have? Want to win 500 Silver Eagle coins just like this guy? Yeah, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. I'm calling to you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of 2022 Silver Eagles. Unbelievable. That is awesome. <laughs> So click the link below for your chance to win. You like bars? I, I have everything. You have everything. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Yankee, make yourself useful and knock this box down. Knock the box down? Yeah. Okay. I hope. Actually worth it. All I need to do is record this guy slicing himself open. That would have just been <coughs> Listen, you should have been here when I cut my finger off with a paper cutter. Oh. No thanks. <laughs> I was really happy to see that you're a believer and that you're uh, really engaging in prayer warfare for the nation. I am. I'm un an unabashed born again Christian, and my faith in Jesus Christ is the most important thing in my life. So I'm yeah. not ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, as Paul says. There's the power to save. So I do do the prayer sessions with Mrs. Yankee, which is an incredible blessing to do that. Yes. Uh, right now, once a month, with all that's going on in my life, uh, is all that we can do. Hopefully that changes this year, actually. We have some plans on that. So that's great tuned. to hear. Once things started to go downhill, I started to mm -hmm. see that our our money, you know, the way that they're printing it, it mm -hmm. just... It's losing its value every day, and and, and that's not sustainable. It, it's clearly not sustainable. And uh, the question is, when all the cards, you know, fall, the house of cards falls, you know, what's going to be left? And that's going to be things that are valuable, uh, gold, silver. Uh, and uh, that's that's my opinion right now. Uh, I think that I would like to protect mm -hmm. my family in mm -hmm. in the event that. Things do start to go wrong. Although, I I will say as a Christian, um, I see that God is working on this country. You're getting them out of order. Out of order. Oh, there's a oh, there's an order. Don't mess. Oh, am I messing friend. up your order? Uh, Maybe it's scratched. Does that sound pretty? Maybe. Sure does. Fourteen. Fourteen. Could be salt. Could be salt. And, um, before I got her, I think she was being trained as a little hunting dog. I so I didn't know they, part of her tail, so they she came in order, brush. but I should have realized that. A lot easier. <laughs> well, considering the fact that you're, if you buy them here, oh, your yeah, name's not going to be on the government that's computer. True. That is true. And um, yeah. there are a lot of benefits, you know, and I don't have to, don't have to ship them to you. That's right. None of that. And you can pay cash. I can pay cash, and I will pay cash. <laughs> every wire transfer goes now through the Federal Reserve for review. Every single one. Oh, yeah, I would say get all your money into something else else uh, other than keeping it in the bank or uh, giving it to the government. I, I'm sure they would love to take all the cash away and have a, a uh, uh, large-scale digital currency for everybody. But um, if they do that, they control your lives, uh, every well, aspect that. of your life. So that's, you know, it's, I can't imagine even the dumbest college student uh, falling for that. But, you know. Well, I heard part of that thing was going to be to offer free money to, you know, the poor people. Yes. Like, Stimulus. you know, we'll give you a card with $2,000 on it. Well, they're already doing that. Here in America? Yeah, they give them a card with all kinds of benefits on it. Um, it's taking even the cards away. That's the problem. And, um, you know, the... If, if people don't have cash, then they, they can't control their lives. And the, you know, the, that the gold and silver will be more of a bartering item for, like, farmers and, you know, like, if we need food and... Yes, they're, they're, everything would be barter, but there won't be enough gold and silver to go around. That's the problem. People have to, have to understand they cannot let the government take your cash away. Period. Another thing that you heard of the bank bail-ins? Yep. Instead of bank bail-out? 
Yeah, but they're already doing that. <laughs> they are some sneaky bastards. And you and me both have the same political opinions, too. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't trust the government when it comes to your finances. You need to handle your own finances. And, you know, gold and silver is a way out for a lot of people. Uh, it's just that, you know, in the end, if they're able to get uh, a digital currency by the people, um, then it, it's, it's uh, gloom and doom because there's not enough gold and silver to go around. Toby oh, Dumas. Oh, there's one other question besides the first one. Do you think that they can devalue gold and silver? I think they can try. Keep in mind that gold is a barter currency between nations. So if they decide to devalue it, it's all going to head right over to China. China, Russia, uh, India, Japan, uh, Iran, North Korea, that's where it'll go. If they, if they try to devalue it, how are they going to do that? They're going to drive it down on the COMEX? They're evil and stupid. It's a bad combination. Because they don't have the brains to work out the details of a digital currency. And, uh, you know, they're thinking of themselves, you know, well, I'll be fine because I have millions and billions, you know, behind me. If they, if they destroy the dollar and take away the dollar, take away your cash, um, then all you have left is thin air. I do believe that they will try to revalue gold and silver to a CBDC and then be able to restrict its purchase and sales. Yeah, you're really uh, very optimistic, eh? Restrict the sales. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, call me doom and gloom. It's, uh, it's really scary how this stuff's all coming down. Well, back in 1933, when they separated gold from the currency, the reason was there's not enough gold in the world to back anyone's currency. And that's a fact. That's, that fact is not going to change. Uh, the the um, amount of dollars in circulation is extraordinary. But if they keep messing with it, um, it's not going to stay in foreign countries. It's going to come flying back here. And, you know, they already um, have convinced... Uh, Russia and China and half the countries in the Middle East, probably all of them by now, and a lot of countries in Africa and South America um, to line up uh, with their own reserve currencies. And you know, that's a huge mistake because right now the European Union has worked out a, a digital currency. Uh, they need the cooperation of the Fed. But when they cooperate with Europe, when our Fed um, cooperates with Europe on a digital currency, we've got three quarters of the world lined up against us. And th that's, that's insanity. Uh, they, they, these people are not smart enough to work this out. And, you know, it's unfortunately, um, I don't see any politicians talking against it. And I think they're, uh, they're letting the Fed, you know, develop their own policies and, um, and they, then they'll react when they find out how bad it is. To raise the debt ceiling, the debt, it's not going to cause any problem if they don't. It just means they got to live within their means. Yeah, but they, they never do and they never will. That's the, you know, raising the debt ceiling <laughs> the is... The, yeah, well, no, they, no it's, and it's not. They, they claim because it's Congress doing it that it's uh, democratic and, uh, you know, they're representing the people. But that, that's insanity. They need, they need to stop the spending. The spending is crazy. Yes, yes. Thanks a lot for the information. Appreciate that. Yeah. Well, it was nice well, talking with you. Okay. Take bye -bye. care. Thank you. Bye. He, he could have gone on for a while. He could have. <laughs> yeah, he was sitting in his easy chair. <laughs> Let's just talk. Oh, hey, I, got a, I got a good guy to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm bored out of my mind. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll call Tim. Quick for the next call. I figured this is the first time discount. First, first time, time discount. First you time give a discount. first buyer discount? No, I, I see how much they're willing to pay. I keep driving the price up until they <laughs> until they separate with their money. And then when he says, well, that's too expensive, then I get, wait a minute, come on back. No, <laughs> it's like buying a car. Do <laughs> I don't first do that buyer discount. I like it. How many did you get? Five? Five kilos. Is there any uh, serial number range you'd like? Well, there's serial okay. numbers on them? We'll start with 14. <laughs> okay. 
Is, should I? I mean, is that something that actually means something? That is a good question, Tim. Does you know, I would write the serial numbers down and just put that piece of paper in your safe. Yeah. Because if anybody breaks in, that's a, the sh- surest way of catching a crook. Because they'll probably go to <clears throat> the nearest pawn shop and then you have them. That's 14. That should be 13. That should be 12. Unless Yankees Yankee screwed them up. <laughs> and that should be 10. Look at that. So get your bars in serial numbers written down. Look at that. You know, we used to do that with Engelhard bars. And that was um, a requirement of having a, an account with Engelhard. And they were able to, um, you know, break up a ring that was drilling them out and filling them with uh, rebar. Um, because everybody had the serial numbers. I, I had a customer show up with a hundred of them, and um, what they told me at the time was that hundred bars closed the loop, so they had accounting for all the ones they were looking for. And, they, you know, there weren't any bad ones in that, but they, they still had to take the bars and saw them in half to find, make sure there was hadn't been tampered with, which is one good reason to do business with Engelhardt. Unfortunately, they're not in this business anymore. Tim, it was finally nice to, to do some business with you coming through the door. You, you have quite a, uh, a business here. So it's Thank you very, much. very, very crowded often. So yeah, see, he makes those comments and it's not about the mess. Good to see you. Good to meet you. All right. Um, We'll be in touch. All right. Thank you very right, much. Take care. Do you remember that KG? What do you have for gold right now? Not much. Um, what were you most interested in? Um, well, I don't even I don't even know what you have uh, in terms of maybe one tenth of an ounce. I I've got tenths. I have quarters. Uh, some half ounce and um, maybe a couple of maple leaves. No uh, American eagles. Uh, how many are you looking for? Uh, just one right now. <clears throat> one I can spare. Oh, what are you no. doing? What are you doing? What? No, no, no. Let me see that. Let me see that. What, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. I brought this up for Tim in case he runs low on gold. You can buy it from this guy. This is a come on to get your uh, contact info. They will hound you like crazy. Well, the, the part that I would never go in this direction is just for the fact that it's traceable. There have been some problems in trying yeah. to get redemptions out of the yeah. you, don't, you don't like that, do you? No. You want I don't to, want to do that. I didn't know what I bought. You want to come in here with cash, anonymously, buy your gold and silver and get out. That's it. The no way. addresses, no names. It's like, how do you do? Thank you for your product. Here are your Benjamins. Let's go home. If things even get more dicey, you know, who knows? It's not, it's not paranoia. It's just... Uh, Common sense. Being cautious. Operational cautious. security. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can call it many names. Well, it's good to see you again Thank here. You, Thank you, Yankee. Thank you. Until he turns around and say hi to the camera. Hi, Tilly. Great to see you, you here go. again. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, 2023 Maples. Um, the two, very nice. And if you're interested in yeah. getting some silver yourself or gold at Tim's, check out the description in the video below. And give him a call. Take care, buddy. Thanks. Uh, bye bye. See ya. I I think Yankee and I both agree that you need to keep your gold and silver close to you. Okay. Um, Yankee and I both agree. I, that's going to be the title of this video. <laughs> <laughs>